Authorities in Alabama, they now say an escaped inmate had a, quote, special relationship with the corrections officer they believe helped him escape custody. A manhunt still underway for murder suspect Casey White and Deputy Vicki White, no relation, no family relation anyway, uh, who have been missing since Friday morning. And Kelsey Kernstein is joining us with the latest developments in this case. Very odd uh, story, and we still don't really know what they were up to. Well, Adrian, today marks the sixth day that authorities are on a manhunt for Casey and Vicki White, and they are believed to be armed and dangerous. Just released surveillance video of corrections officer Vicki White and inmate Casey White last seen together. Officer White is seen walking into the jail and then shortly later holding the door open for handcuff Casey White, where she puts him in the back of her patrol car, gets in, and then drives off. On Friday, Officer White informed her colleagues that she was transporting the nearly seven foot tall inmate to the courthouse for a mental health evaluation. No such appointment was scheduled. And that same morning, her patrol car was found abandoned in a shopping center parking lot less than a half a mile from the detention center on tuesday the lauderdale county sheriff confirming the two were in a romantic relationship now whether she did that willingly or if she was coerced threatened somehow to to participate in this escape not really sure. Sheriff Singleton also confirming that Vicki purchased this 2007 Ford Edge just days before their escape. That's been the focus for our investigation. All of our efforts all weekend long was to identify that vehicle. She is a 16 year veteran at the correction facility and recently announced her retirement and sold her home for what reports say was much less than the market value. Investigators say Casey and Vicki are believed to be armed and dangerous, carrying a shotgun and an AR-15 style rifle. He's already killed once, uh, you know, so and he's facing the death penalty, so he has absolutely nothing to lose. And, you know, if she becomes a liability to him or slows him down, then I think he's very capable of, uh, you know, hurting her seriously, even killing her. And I'm right now in Florence, Alabama, in front of that detention center where they escaped from. Now, they were... Blast believed to buy that car, which is a 2007 Ford Edge. It appears to have damage to that left rear end bumper, and authorities say that it is rust colored. Now, the U.S. Marshal is offering up to a $10,000 reward. Adrian. All right, thank you so much, Kelsey. In today's border report, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.